James Kaufman, World News Report, today, December 19th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start out taking a look at our KP indexes. Not a lot going on today as far as our KP indexes or any plasma hitting Earth, but we did start the day with a geomagnetic disturbance. That was caused by solar winds. The day started out with solar winds over 600 kilometers per hour, although they have decreased quite a bit throughout the day. We see that disturbance for the first three hours on the Boulder KP index, on the Fredericksburg KP index, and on our estimated planetary KP index, but nothing on our more sensitive college index. Strange. All right, a lot of things in the puzzle don't fit together today. We're going to discuss what those are. We've had three M-class solar flares. So first we had an M1.6 here that peaked about 1045 UTC time, which is about 445 this morning central time here in the U.S., now, again, an M1.6 solar flare, but not really assigned to a sunspot group. My feeling is, is this is from a sunspot group coming around the limb. And we know that we have several very large sunspots that have been very active. And it looks like they've expelled at least two or three X flares over the week. We've seen halo explosions off the backside of our sun. This could be one of those sunspots coming around, and it actually looks as if it is. So we're going to call this an unnamed sunspot. Coming around, probably a bigger explosion. That was followed up by an M3.81, our biggest explosion in 72 hours, our biggest solar flare in 72 hours. Definitely within 24 hours. That occurred at 15.34 UTC time or 11.34 Central Time here in the U.S. just before lunch. Again, that came from 39.28. And you'll see that that doesn't make any sense either. Again, they have that coming from Sunspot Group AR3928. And I believe it came out of Sunspot Group well, one of the two sunspot groups going around the far side of the limb, which I will show you on LASCO in just a moment. Now, we've also had a third M-class solar flare here. It's going to be an M1.72. Happened right at 1900 UTC time, which is 1 p.m. Central here in the U.S. Head over to spaceweatherlive.com. You can see that M3.81 sticking up. They called it an M3.7 here. It's the one that they say peaked at 15.34. Uh, again, which would be 11.34 Central Time here in the U.S. And I think that that came from another sunspot group, which I'm going to try to prove to you in just a moment. Now, they've just added our third M-class solar flare here. Peaked at 1900 UTC time, 1 p.m. Central here as discussed. We had it as a 1.72. They got it as a 1.7, so we did darn good. They just assigned it and just put, posted it to Sunspot Group AR3928. A simple Sunspot Group, either Alpha or Beta only. No mixtures, just like the Sunspot Group or the exact same Sunspot Group that produced the M3.7. Again, we don't have any information on the first blast, but I'm guessing it was from around the incoming limb. Now today we have a 5% chance of having an X-class solar flare, a 50% chance of an M-class solar flare, of which we've had three, and a 99% chance of a C flare, which of course, well, We've been running a C baseline for six months. So that should be 
100% as far as I am concerned. So thus far today, we've had three M-class solar flares. We know that two were generated by 3928. Now, I'm going to argue with this, and you're going to see why in just a second. Heading over to Gong Intensigram, so we can take a look at the sunspots, sunspot groups, HMI is down, STO is down, AIA is down. We have two M flares that they're saying came from 3928. Now, the one I have a problem with is the strongest one, the 3.81 solar flare that they say came from 3928 at 1534 UTC time. The other one that just occurred definitely came from 3928. I believe that the first M-class solar flare that occurred today, the 1.72, excuse me, the 1.6, occurred or was generated by a sunspot group that's still not named that is coming around our incoming limb currently. I will show you that on SOHO in just a moment. With that said, Based on LASCO, I would think that the big 3.81 solar flare and associated coronal mass ejection was generated by 3922 or 3924. And I'm going to show you that, although they say it was generated by 3928. So two of them generated by this sunspot group here that just came around, one generated by an eclipsed sunspot group that was probably larger than we think it was. Headed over to GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. You can see those two sunspot groups here that we just saw. And we got a lot more coming around the limb. As I might have mentioned earlier, there were at least three large halo explosions on the backside of the sun. And we're going in blind this week, but there are some very nasty sunspots coming around that limb that look like they've been producing X-class solar flares. If you will recall, we started the day with solar winds at 600 kilometers per second. I am guessing that that was created from this small coral hole here that was basically Earth-facing yesterday and is still Earth-facing, although the winds have calmed down quite a bit, as you will see. Now... We can see activity over here, and this looks like a flare here. But again, they have assigned that flare to this sunspot group. That's not even the flare I'm worried about. The flare I'm worried about is the one that happened before that, the larger flare. That's the 1.72. Supposedly came from over here. That's going to be 3928. This is, well... 39, 3924, maybe 3922. But again, both M flares that have been assigned a sunspot group have been assigned 3928, as we saw. Is it going to be a problem with that? All right, here's our huge problem. We had the big M3.81 flare, 1534 UTC time, 1134 our time assigned to sunspot group 3928 that was just named coming around the limb here. Well, we have 3922 and 24 departing over here, but nothing was assigned to those sunspot groups, although we did see a lot of activity just now over there on our ghost solar ultraviolet imager. Well, the sun is this little circle here, and if we're looking for an event, at 1534, we should see it coming out of this area here since they said it came out of 3928, not 3922 or 24. But what we see here is when we give it time for the coronal mass ejection to get over the lens cover here, we see that they've removed three hours of time and there's a whopping coronal mass ejection. Looks like it came right out of 3922 or 3924 departing. Not the ones coming around the limb as indicated. Very strange 
um, the opposite of what we thought or what we were told occurred. Again, we did see activity over there on the departing limb just now on our ghost solar ultraviolet imagery. We'll take one more look at that. Just real quick, you can see that that's a very active sunspot group and that should have showed up. That should have been the last flare that we just had. That should have been the M1.77 at 1900 but again they said that even that last M flare came out of this sunspot group over here 3928 so the one at 1534 supposedly came out of this sunspot group and the one at 1900 although you can see the flare there and nothing over here also came out of this sunspot group so something's not right over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. What kind of X-ray flux do we have hitting the planet? This is going to be the first flare of the day or the end of the first flare of the day, the M flare. It's going to be the 1.6 at 445 this morning central. And then we're going to go into the larger flare for the day. That just doesn't look like it. It's just a C flare there. Uh, we're looking for 1534, which is going to be right about there. And that's our big flare for the day, 3.81. Again, they say out of the, well, newly named Sunspot Group, I say it looks like it came out of the departing Sunspot Group. And then we even have the last flare that occurred at 1900. Hundred. These are all C flares, and there's your 1900, and that's going to be supposedly an M 1.72. So there you have it. Plenty of X-rays and radiation for everyone. All right. Let's see what they did over at the Space Weather Prediction Center. Today is the 19th. They have plasma starting out at about three and a half or four and ending up at about three and a half or four he went from zero to ten and back to zero and back to ten today so this is completely wrong here on the 19th they have solar winds starting at about 550 and ending the day at about 500 well we had more movement than that they started at 600 and they're going to end the day at about 450 not 500 all right, just keeping it real with you guys. Shields are up. Plasma went from way down here at 0.75 to 12. Actually, in space weather threshold here, uh, plasma was way down here at 1 again. Moved up again, up and down. So they really blew the plasma. I have no idea where this little impact here came from. Very light impact. We started the day at about 600, maybe a little bit stronger than that, kilometers per second. And we're going to end the day, wow, probably around 400 kilometers per second by the time the day is out in three hours. Wow. All right, so I do have a Soho 284 Angstrom's picture here. It shows this coronal hole here which is probably the culprit. We probably just could not see it at 194 angstroms. We also see that we have a lot of sunspot groups that have not been named that are coming around the limb. This was taken at 7.06 this morning on the 19th. So this is very new data. Things that I don't like about this I don't see this sunspot group whatsoever. I don't see the two departing down here. I don't see the two sunspot groups here. I don't see the crow hole here. It's strange, strange, strange. And it looks like it's tilted here, if you'll notice. See, it looks like the picture's not straight. As in, maybe we're not looking at it properly. If we tilt it, then maybe we'll see it the way it's supposed to be. Hard to say what they're doing, but this is, something's wrong with this. Heading from NOAA over to NASA's 
Well, Goodard is with Spiral. Looks like we've got Plasma inbound for around the 28th. Is that right? Let's see when this thing ends. About the 28th. Looks like we have a large impact now. How could they foresee something that was going to happen nine days from now? Your guess is as good as mine. You can see that they've modeled none of the flares. They definitely need to model the one that created the large CME out the five o'clock position of our Earth facing solar disk. With that said, God bless each and every one of you guys. Please stay safe. Happy holidays. Please share, subscribe, and always remember anything's possible. Bizarro world.